Hello viewers, today I am going to present one web app. I built this app in ASP.NET MVC. So let's start. So now I am in Visual Studio and then I am running my server named ASP.NET MVC final project. I create this project for my school and I presented it as a final project. So the web page is loading. <coughs> the idea was about this app. I tried to create one brand identity for a photographer. That's why I put something, uh, some elements like graphical element inside the app. It looks like a camera. If you see on my screen, there is no nav bar, but I put here one hamburger menu inside a circle and I click this hamburger menu, the menu bar will pop up. And you can see there is six page. One is home, another is about, another is gallery, then contact, then sign up and profile page. And then let's see what is in my home page. So in my home page, there is a uh, title. It is like, it's, it's a brand identity kind. So it's telling you, see your world through the lens. So, and I put here on Hero MS, it's, it's, it has a hover effect. If you put your cursor on the image, like top image, it will place on another image. It looks like a shadow. So it is like this. And then I put some, oh, I, then I put some keywords for SEO purpose. So I'll show later inside my code how I put my keyword. And then here is a, here is a paragraph. It can be a description or introduction of this studio. And then I put one button for email, con email and contract. So it has a uh, animation. I create that animation with CSS and JavaScript. If you press this button, then the email link option is pop up. Then people can email direct to this uh, owner website. Right now I put my web email address and then the user can send me the email through this email address. So then I am going back to my web app. So now you see here is uh, another contact us link and then the people can send email through this link as well. It, uh, it is like, it is send you to the con contact form and then you can put the contact information and you can send it to the owner. It is like this. And then you can send the your message and then you will get the uh, thanking message from a website like it is auto generated. So now I'm going to back to my about page. Inside the about page I put one paragraph and then uh, one title and the beside this column I put one YouTube link and then I put under this link a Google map view and and, and you can see this uh, my hamburger menu is fixed on the screen because people can easy uh, easily go back to the menu bar so yeah uh, here it is I can go to the gallery but the gallery option doesn't allow me to go to the gallery page because if 
you want to see the gallery, you need to first sign up or log in. Same things happen if anyone wants to go to the um, profile page. See, you need to sign up or log in first. Uh, so I am trying to log in. Let's see, I remember my password. Yes, and then login button allow me to go inside my profile page. Here is my profile page and I can see my first name, last name and email address. And then I have planned to uh, do another option for booking the appointment uh, for photography or, or photo shoot. So now I can see my gallery option. Here is my gallery. I create this gallery inside now using the jQuery. So uh, I'll show the slide uh, which one I create uh, with the jQuery. Before that, there is another CSS styling. That is like if I put my curs cursor on the image, it you, you can see the color image, full color image. See, like this. Like this. So, and then I have. Uh, the mobile responsiveness in this web app. So let's, let's go to the inspector. Okay, here is my tab version like this. Then I can show you my mobile version. And now I am going back to my main web app. So let's see uh, how I create this app. So, I open my database Here is my table. I created here two table, and then one is for message, one is for user. So let's see how it looks like the user. Here it is. I create three user, and this one is for like which one I log in. This is my uh, user table, and then this is my message table here you can see the time and then message subject and full name and now I can show you how I organize those files so I create this app inside uh, Visual Studio using ASP.NET MVC so here is my root file inside the root uh, this root file is using for the styling so I have CSS image and JavaScript so uh, this root file used for styling and I put all of my 
assets inside the root and then I have con home controller inside the home controller I put my all of those code for functionality here are those code which I wrote for my functionality and you, you can see those are all organized and well uh, for a reader and then I have my model I created mo uh, here three model one is for contact another is for message one is for user this model are connected with the home controller and my main page so you see the inside the view I have home and then I have share and then I have um, view imports CSS HTML and here is the program CSS so inside the home you can see all of my page name here which is for, uh, for design purpose and I have shared uh, folder inside the shared folder I have layout and I have uh, the other stuff as well so if you if I go to the uh, layout file you can see how I put my HTML for my layout inside the layout you can see that I use here bootstrap I bo use here uh, bootstrap CSS and then even you can see my own mm, CSS file as well I use for this uh, website javascript here is those link and you can see like i designed this website uh, with um, bootstrap too, as well so this code for the navbar and i i put the footer also inside my layout file and then i design my all other page inside the inside the home uh, inside the home so here it is this is my about page if you see here is a uh, like description then paragraph and then other stuff the YouTube link and then I have uh, Google map link here and the contact page I have the form and then mm, the view data message and then I ha inside the gallery I have the link with the uh, image and JavaScript and then I have index page so you see the paragraph and then the other stuff and then I have privacy it is not showing up uh, on the website but I have the privacy so I can put some code here for privacy option and then I have profile page here and these code are uh, these code are for uh, the message and then uh, which information is passing through the database on the page uh, here and then I have sign up form and login form and then those are all code and, and design view for my sp.net mvc project thank you for watching me thank you very much